Well, El Covico certainly lived up to expectations. Carl Nolan, Coventry United manager, so close yet so far. A 10-man Coventry United side battling to a 3-2 defeat. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, look, we were poor first half. Let's, uh, let's make no bones about it. If we're, we're honest with ourselves, we're lucky to only come in two down. Really let ourselves down. Not enough performances out there individually. Um, lads weren't really applying the game plan in the way that we wanted them to. But the big thing is, you know, individually there just wasn't enough uh, performances. They never took hold of the game, uh, you know, as it's a local derby. We had some strong words at second half, uh, at half time, and then I thought second half we were the better side. Well, let's get the referee stuff out of the way first. Uh, we saw it clearly from here. Yellow card chance for me all, all day long. I'm not sure the uh, view you had on it, but do you feel that maybe that red card was given because the red card to Chris Roscoe wasn't given earlier on in the game? Well, possibly, but like, you know, I had a bit of banter with their bench. Um, you know, they have every right to, 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 to call for Roscoe to be sent off, but Adam Miles has been smacked across the face leading up to that. Um, look, I'm not saying the referee's been poor today. I don't think he's been poor. And second half, as I say, whatever has happened down there, that is not a sending off in any football match. If it is, we might as well go home. Well, you hear what it means to the Coventry Sphinx players uh, like celebrating them. afterwards. Yeah, like you say, good performance. But they know what it means to win a Coventry derby. Do you think that was a, a, a sort of um, a reason why you know I didn't start the game so well? They didn't realise. Well, many of them, it's their first derby. So, mm. was it really that they didn't realise how big the game was? Possibly, yeah, possibly. I mean, we're we scratched together anyway. We've got eight obviously first team players missing, but it's no excuse. The players coming in have, have got to stand up and be counted. We told them before the game. You know, the game means something. Um, and, and maybe, yeah, it was. I certainly saw in their body language first half, they seemed to want it more. Um, but we showed character second half. You know, as I say, I thought we were the better side. And not making excuses, I think that if we don't get that sending off, I think we possibly sneak a draw here today. I probably agree with you on that. Uh, the uh, new signing that we had, uh, Sam Robder, former Coventry City youth player, also played a couple of games for Sphinx back in his youth career. Uh, what do you think he uh, brought to the table today and how did this uh, signing come about? Yeah, he's doing very well. Um, we've been looking for a striker for a while. Sam's um, been at Corn, um, not really being given a lot of minutes. We feel that we can give him minutes here, we can give him a platform, we can get him bowling again, get him scoring goals. I've worked with Sam previously many, many years ago and he, he showed a lot of uh, promise then. There's bags of potential there, and you know we just want him to come in and work out and enjoy enjoy his football with us. And finally, uh, how do you sum up the uh, 2022 commentary? I mean, I, I feel that today's game perfectly sums it up. We had uh, we had heartbreak, controversy, but also a lot of character. Yeah, particularly second half. But I can't keep saying this. I can't keep saying we show character in one half and not the other. You know, make no mistake about it. We have let ourselves down in there in that first half. All credit to Sphinx. They've come out the traps quick and strong, and, and no, no two ways about it, they could have been five or six up comfortably by, by half time. Yes, there's character second half. Yes, again, we've been undone by a poor referee in this season, if we're honest, um, but we, we, can't, we can't keep relying on that. We've got to show character for the entirety of a football match. Well, Carl, not the way we want to end the year, but uh, hopefully uh, better things to come in 2023. Thanks for your time.